So 2K dropped the patch today, man, and though we have absolutely no clue what it is, the, the people at NBA 2K leaks and intel, they just say new patch dropped. Now that patch is out, and we don't know what it addresses. We hope that it addresses the myriad of stability issues that are going on with the game. You got people that can't play the game. Some people still getting uh, the error screens. Some people are still not able to play rec because their consoles are getting turned off and all that good stuff like that. Uh, right here, you're gonna see. You're gonna see uh, the guy Solo. Solo says, uh, "Does anyone have issues with their console still cutting off uh, when they're in rec?" You got Dynework saying, "I really want to play rec, but." That shit keeps happening to me, keeps turning off or what have you. And we don't know if that has been addressed yet. That's why I feel like the patch notes are so important. They're just so important because if 2K fixes something, like obviously we know they're gonna tighten up the holes on certain methods that, that people may have ascertained over time. There's been videos going on about the, the it's the usual suspects, man. It's the usual suspects about vet met methods of ascertaining uh, VC and, and badge points and extra badges and all of that stuff, man. It's all the usual suspects. They're always tightening those up. It's an awesome game. So I understand why they want to keep the balance and stuff like that. But at the same time, if the community, I mean, maybe we stop trying to break the game and they can get to some of this stuff that actually matters or, you know, just stop doing the glitches, man, so we can get this game. Fixed. I don't know what we should do, man. It is what it is. I just want them to put the patch notes out so we know what has been fixed. So maybe if they fix something that we that we're asking for then we can stop asking for it just like this right here. So, you know, it is what it is. But anyway, speaking of VC, you got a chance to win. If you like the video and comment on this video, you are automatically entered in a chance to win a free $50 VC pack. Now, SOQZX, that's who won last time. I already hit him up, waiting on him to reply. There's a chance he might not reply, so we're gonna have to pick another winner, or we'll just give it, we'll just double it up Friday. Y'all let me know. Put double it up down in the comment section if I should just double it up Friday. I, should I give him the Friday to claim it or what have you? Y'all let me know. But we're gonna do that because I understand that these are VC intensive times and that people, I mean, it's tough, man. The prices are high and uh, they ain't going down no time soon. They definitely appear so, and we're gonna talk about that in a second, man. But like I said, also, like the video, comment on the video, you get a chance to win a free $50 pack, 200k VC. And also, when you like the video, it helps us get closer to that also oh coveted 100k. And without further ado, let's get this video underway. So the VC stuff started out, man, with the uh, with the boy John Bonsing. He just says, hey, Joe knows you want to talk about the ridiculous VC prices this year or are you going to sell out? That's harsh. You should never say that to nobody. Uh, I get you want, I get you want you don't want to bite the hand that feeds you but we are your viewers we your viewers also put you on the map uh you can be our voice or sell out like the rest that's harsh man you can't never tell nobody how to do what they got to do because because i i'm gonna I'm understand y'all something in a second because people say they want one thing and they clearly want another it's just like we say we say that that we don't want to pay for vc but we continuously pay for it we say we don't want pay to win but we continuously pay to win and the numbers, you know, men lie, women lie, numbers don't lie. And the only thing that 2K can go by is they, they, it's like almost like a stress test. They're looking at the numbers and they say, well, they say they don't want to keep buying VC, but every time we raise the price, they continue to, they do what they do. They buy VC. So they're not telling us yet that they don't want to, but like when you got truck drivers and stuff telling you, <laughs> when the truck drivers, they get out there when the fuel prices keep going up and they stress test us every year. And, the, and then when the truck drivers say, okay, all right, when a, when a gallon of milk, Cost eleven dollars. Don't come try to us. You better come. And then they always go back down on the prices mysteriously. They they drop the taxes or they do something. They, you know, v, you know, VC prices is gonna be a lot like that. Joe knows re responded to that and he says, "I agree. It costs way too much to max out a player, but I hate to break it to you. I don't set the VC prices, and this tweet ain't gonna ain't gonna make a billion dollar company decide to stop making money." Uh, sorry, bro. And then Sid came up and backed it up. And he said, if you want VC, pri VC prices to go down, we need to stop buying and playing, buying VC and playing the game. I hate to break it to you. That shit ain't gonna happen. So, so you, we stuck with it. And uh, like I said, bro, that's the only way to do it. The only way you're gonna if, impact some change or what have you is, is to just stop buying VC, stop paying to win, and stop wanting to have a competitive advantage. But everybody in the 2K community want to have a competitive advantage so badly that 
they're gonna buy you gonna keep buying boost you're gonna keep buying vc to max out your player you're gonna keep doing or uh, buying gatorade so you can pay the drip you're gonna keep doing all of that so like like i understand what c is saying why 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 are we even complaining which to me let me ask y'all a question why if you're not a content creator because i'm a content creator so i'm gonna go out there i have to have my best foot forward all the time I gotta be maxed out day one. I gotta do all that because I have to create the content for y'all. But when I wasn't a content creator, I never bought VC. I literally never bought VC. I always grinded my player up from 60 or whatever. It didn't matter to me how long it took because I didn't have a, I didn't care about being out there in the park before everybody else. I just went out there and played. So like, am I delusional? Is this just not like how the world works anymore? Or anything like that? Like what's your rush to get out there and get to the park and then complain about shooting? Because like, like let's say in 2K16, that was the first time I ever bought VC, but I didn't buy any VC at the beginning of 2K16 because uh, I wasn't playing in the park like that. I was literally grinding my guy up from zero, and then the, the, my um, my stream was like, "Yo, go to the park, man!" And so, like, I, that's the first time I ever bought VC because I was a 72 overall, but I was a 95. I had 95, you know, worth worth of upgrades because I had played my career that much so like I, I just don't get it like and then they go out there and complain about the shooting this hard so you're really rushing to get your ass whooped for no reason and I just don't understand that but I do understand people want to play online people want to get out there and hoop too so if that's the reason I can dig it but like if that's me I just I'm not gonna complain about it um I, I just wouldn't do it I don't know it is what it is but hey the boy all City Live TV, he did an excellent video. Everybody should go watch that. Y'all probably already watched that anyway. And it just says, this is insane, bro. $100 or more for a bill in an actual, is more than that. $100 for a bill is more than the actual game. And then iPod King Carter said, 57,000 to go from 97 to 98. I didn't even put attributes that I, I mean, on anything that really matter on the bill. Sheesh. Hey, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. Like I told y'all, it's a very VC intensive game and that's where we are with it. The boy Jack Beal says, honestly, VC prices make it hard for, I mean, make it hard for pretty much, uh, make it harder for pretty much any mid-sized uh, content creator. The community is getting smaller and smaller because of it. Hey, man, and then I also went, I just went, I just went to over here and I just Googled the, uh, not Google, but I, you know, Twittered the VC prices and said, there gotta be something, there's gotta be some way we can tell 2K to fix the VC prices, especially when everything in the game is overpriced. Oh, well, see, now you own to something, bro. It's not the VC prices. VC prices have been pretty much the same for the last few years. It's the cost of things in game. That's, that's what I'm saying about the 2K community. We always say one thing but we mean another we don't want we don't want we don't want all these whites to fall now you can't shoot and everybody and then you say vc prices well 2k they looking at it like the, the prices have been the same tell us the right thing and we it dropped the price thirty thousand dollars for a shirt say something like that that's what you're gonna have to say all of that good stuff man if, you, if that's what y'all want and it just says uh 2k has really kept prices the same um since 16 increase <laughs> exactly but they increased the bill cost buy about 50k every year that's what people are talking about man it says i i ain't buying vc for 2k 23 to them prices drop or some or some boy hell no i i see what it said fix vc prices but a lot of people understand what they're saying a lot of people don't but let me understand y'all something man like I, I don't like when people charge a content creator with doing something i want to share something with y'all man this is very near and dear to my heart you charge a content creator with saying we're going fight the fight do the thing and then you're gonna get blackballed you're gonna get outcasted you're gonna you know what i'm saying like you you're not gonna grow and everybody in your comment section gonna tell you why you complaining and all of that good stuff man let me show y'all something man ain't nobody made more of these i just went on my channel and did vc look at this the first video this 2k18 when they were doing hashtag no vc spent all of that stuff man when cash nasty and all of them joints you know, hey look man everything wrong look nutshell the stealth patches and the vc hunger look all these videos i put vc in here look i'm, I'm either trying to tell you look how to spin your vc how to do this how to do this we're talking about VC. We're talking about the VC prices. That's the Shake Pack right there. Other VC. Uh, here's some other stuff right here. You got Kodak Black. Uh, this is me and Brute talking about it right there. We got um, uh, Mike clapping. We got Kodak Black. Uh, you know how how the consumer getting finesse. All of this stuff, man. Hey, look, all of these videos. People saying, hey, man, stop complaining. Look, Kodak Kodak Black again. You know, talking about, hey, man, look. I understand what y'all are saying, but. That's, that's me talking about that for years. So that's the proof I've been trying to tell y'all about this for years. Now, let me show y'all something. Look at my social blade. This is my social blade right here. Look, 
this these are my my views and subscribers this is this is since 2019 bro 2019 uh, look at this look at this subscribers and views pretty much they, they they go up plateau go up plateau this is since i've been positive look at this i've been only talking about positive stuff and keeping my videos lighthearted and positivity and positivity look at this boom everything going up look at this views this is the uh, right now these are the highest views that i've had in years look this is since 2019 i never even got past what the 100k views in a month imagine I've been doing videos on 2K forever. Never got past 100K views in a, in a month. Look, right now, we, we're not even through the whole month. And these were, this is 2K launches and everything. And right now, we had 144K views this month. Look at this. Look at this. Channel was pretty much dead. Look at this. No, nothing. Nothing happening. Nothing happening. Nothing happening. This is a, this has been like this for years. I go I go talking strictly about positivity and, and stuff and making people feel good and feel good about the game and stuff like that. Look at this. 100, 100, 100. Look at this. I got 100 here, 100 there, 100 here. And look at this. Days of straight 100, 100, 100. So y'all can't really tell me that, that there's a benefit to me saying, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? Me banging that drum and doing that. When all people going to tell me is, Bro, why are you complaining if you if you don't want to do it, don't do it and stuff like that. It is what it is. Like men lie numbers, men lie women lie, numbers don't lie. And the numbers right there show me, they showing me, just like they showing 2K, y'all complaining about the VC, but you're still buying it. Those numbers show me that if I talk, y'all want y'all say y'all want me to talk about it, but when I do, y'all don't watch the damn video. Or, or support me in any type of way. So what am I supposed to do? I gotta continue to go this way of positivity and continue to, you know what I'm saying, push push the narrative that y'all want, which is which is positivity. It is what it is, man. So, uh, hey, that's what we gonna continue to do. And that's why I'm going in the direction that I'm going, man. It is what it is. Hey, the boy Stacks, hey, he says, man, which one is better, dead eye blinders? I'm gonna tell y'all straight up. Um, I would not put either one of, one of them on if I ain't got the badges, but if you're gonna put something on, put on blinders so people can't come down from the corner and uh, come at you. Hey, Power DF says, I really hope they don't nerf the defense in NBA 2K23. I'm actually enjoying how it feels like good defense is finally rewarded. And I'm not gonna lie to y'all, we gonna do a video today for y'all, man, talking about how it is when you play interior defense. People keep saying interior defense ain't is, is dead or whatever, bro. I, I don't I don't see it. I mean, interior defense is there. You can play it and you can do all of that. But look, let me know what your interior defense down in the comment section is because I'm seeing people saying they can't get stops, but I see Gambit wall up and get stop after stop. So I'm really confused about what's going on with that. Um, The boys, Power DF says, what is the best rim and lock takeover? To me, best rim takeover is the uh, is the rim takeover where you're protecting the rim. You get to foul people. You get to punt, punish people. They come in there. They can't even get the ball up. Sometimes they don't even call the foul, and you get the ball back and stuff like that, man. So I'm, I'm digging that one. Best lock takeover, extreme clamps, because with extreme clamps, uh, what happens is when you got when you got a string clamps on, sometimes you you lock onto the dudes, you'll get steal, and uh, you know what I'm saying you don't even have to do anything at all. You just get some bumps and you get the steal. Hey man, this right here was funny as I don't know what though for the time for the community clips. Hey, the, hey, you can at least didn't tell say me as soon as I see as I see uh current gen on my timeline. I don't like it. Uh, <laughs> you know, you know, you know, dick ride it. I don't like it. No, hey. Man. I ain't gonna lie, man. Hey, that's how I be sometimes, man. Hey, hey, next gen to me this year is better than current gen. The boy Gambito, hey, he says, man, this is when this is when uh, Larry and Isaiah found out. We said Isaiah and Larry found out that Mike was taking over the league. Get up, motherfucker! Woo, motherfucker! Get up! Hey, hey, it is what it is, boy. Hey, up next. We got uh, hey, we we already talked about down work, down work. Get up out of here! You can't be up in here twice. Hey, this is a community clip, but we gonna talk about it. Hey, he says if you lose to a slasher that only pushes X or or square, um, you know, you oh wait wait wait, if you don't, you're either small as or flat out suck. I can't even get mad at that, man. Hey, but see, somebody tried to respond to it, and uh, I guess what they were trying to say is that they did. That, that they aren't that small, but I'm looking at this clip and he, and what he's saying is, yeah, I hear what you're saying, but I got 80 interior and 70 strength and the guy has no bully, but I don't see, I, and, and, and no, no bully in the 72 driving layup and I lost to him. And uh, by the way, this guy hit, hit two in a row 
with a 40 percent and i'm like i mean i get it but i don't think your defense is as high as what you're talking about bro or maybe you're small or something like that because because like like right here i'm gonna look at this we're gonna look at this one it looked like you reached right there i'm not gonna lie it looked like you reach and i don't know why you just showed them 40 percenters but you're showing these i'm gonna tell you right now brute got brute got uh he got 60 interior on that animation right there you're missing so you capping my boy i ain't gonna lie you ain't got no you ain't got no 80 plus interior right there that's not 80 plus interior i got 80 plus interior i do the video today bro there's no way you got 80 plus interior and he made that on you it just ain't not consistently anyway but you know it is what it is and last but not least we got my boy el cabro viejo he say i'm out of my career and into the fire look at that matrays up green bean money team splash down hey if y'all mess with your boy man put that verde down in the comment section down there in the comment section for your boy for your chance to win um a 50 dollar pack of vc this week man like i said if my boy that i hit up if he doesn't hit me up we're gonna give a hundred dollars of in vc away should we give that to two different people or should we give it to one person i don't know like i said man i understand where people are coming from and you want your favorite content creator to fight that fight for you but the track record just shows it, it plainly sh i showed you right that it's black and white it plainly shows when somebody go fight that fight y'all don't respect it and then when when we go to straight positivity and talking about the game and stuff like that that's what y'all like people say i just i'm enjoying the game man stop complaining about this stuff that's what my comments are full of so and I, like I said, I literally just showed y'all what it is right there, man. So I understand what you're saying. I can see both sides of it, but I'm just saying from a content creation standpoint, that that's what it is. It's not about 2K and not being able to to uh, attend events or you being silenced or they doing this and that. Is it y'all don't watch those videos? That's it. It's just all to it. Y'all don't like that type of content. And as a content creator, I got a fiduciary responsibility to give you guys the content that you appreciate and that you like. So that's what I'm gonna continue to do. And, and that stuff right there for me is a thing of the past. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. I'm gonna holler at y'all next time, man. Again, put Verde down there in the, in the, uh, in the comments. If you want a chance to win the VC, I'm gonna help y'all out this way from this end right here. I'm gonna give y'all free VC. And, uh, you know, we're going we gonna to work on it like that. But I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ. It's little niggas online keep taking stabs at us, but I'm too stingy to even give half a fuck. Godspeed. Godspeed.